Who's heard of alternate energy? You two would have. You've got a windmill here and you've got a wind source. So what I want you to do is problem solve who can see who can get this thing to spin the most. Very impressed with their enthusiasm and their will to get stuck in. Hi, my name is Bill Ellis. I'm an engineer, formerly used to work for Scottish Hydroelectric, and now I'm a freelance project manager. My first introduction to this STEM net uh, was in Dundee Science Centre. I uh, came here for an induction session. Certainly uh, an excellent team of people here, and uh, the relationship is, is, is very good. Hi, Julia, good morning. Hi, Bill, nice to meet Glad you again. To see you again. Immediately found that the staff here were very helpful, they were very enthusiastic. They were always willing to answer any questions you had or point out anything that might help you uh, in your STEM ambassador role. So how many pupils are you roughly working uh, with? We'll probably have about six or seven today. Oh, that's really, really good. It's really nice to see. Do you enjoy going out to the uh, Indeed we do. Uh, and um, I'd like just to check the kit over just to make sure that everything is there. Okay. And it's working. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Because we'll once see. you get to school, it's too late. Okay, yeah, definitely. So the kits that we use uh, come mainly from uh, places like this, uh, the, the Science Centre. They may be loaned out to the school, they may be purchased by the school. There you go. I'll just leave you to it and then if there's anything at all that's... Think about what you're, the message you're trying to get across and make sure that the kit is appropriate to the message that you're trying to get across. There are a variety of kits uh, covering different, many different uh, topics. Here at Dundee Science Centre, we're the contract holder for the North East Scotland. So we coordinate the programme for um, the whole North East. So there's um, Dundee, Angus, Perth, Kinross, Aberdeen and Aberdeenshire. We develop resources based on what the schools need. Teachers ask for resources to support them. So we um, spoke to the science learning team and worked with some local STEM ambassadors as well to develop a resource um, that would support those teachers. And we felt that having STEM ambassadors in to, to use that resource in schools would be the best way to inspire the pupils because they could talk about how those materials are actually used in, in their work um, and in the real world and not just something cool to look at in class. The STEM clubs in schools exist really to help the kids to gain an understanding of science, technology, engineering and mathematics and how they can be used in the real world, in the engineering world. So it's really to stimulate their interest and uh, sow seeds in their mind as to whether or not this could be a, a possible uh, career for them. For STEM ambassadors, it's a chance for them to develop their skills and knowledge so they can come to our training course and develop their science communication skills. We find it's really enjoyable for them as well and it's a chance to get out of their, their usual workplace for a few hours and just um, have some fun. In my STEM activity, we're going to look at an alternate energy a pack which contains modules demonstrating solar energy, hydro energy, wind power, so that the, the kids can get an idea of these various uh, technologies and how they fit into uh, the engineering world. Right. I would admit to being a, a bit apprehensive because I found that at my age, a lot of the, the STEM ambassadors were considerably younger and well used to programming robots. Who's heard of alternate energy? You two would have, but once I got stuck in, it was okay. Anybody know what this thing is? <laughs> Correct, yes it does. I hope that um, they get stimulated by uh, seeing these uh, modules in, in, in use, putting them together. Uh, I find that the kids are great at assembling things and they're, they're very enthusiastic about sticking bits uh, together, switching it on and seeing it works. Uh, I think they get a lot of satisfaction from that. You've got a windmill here and you've got a wind source. You have paddles on here that can come off if you pull them off and you can change their, their angle. Okay. Basically what you're going to do is who can see who can get this thing to spin the most. 
when you have an, a, a STEM ambassador delivering a lesson, talking about problems in engineering, they can go off in uh, tangents, and Bill has done so before, talking about real life situations, real people that have worked in real life situations, and it gives it a bit of colour for the pupils. It's not just a lesson to get some results for a bit of practical fun, it's actually uh, it's a real skill that they're, and we, we let them know that this is a real skill that you're developing. See if that works. So you're going to start with the three paddles? Yeah. Okay. And we need some more. We put some more. Right. So um, we, we angled it a wee bit so that yep. it goes okay. away the wind. Yes. So it pushes it farther. By repeating the lunchtime STEM club activities, you do build up a rapport and a relationship with the, the kids. They get to know you and understand how you operate and uh, trust you really. But at the same time, we try and make the activities different from one week to the next because they would soon get bored if it was um, <laughs> the same every week. You're going to change the angle as well, that's good. Yeah. So it's Difficulty with STEM clubs being run at lunchtime is that it coincides with the lunch break and uh, you're restricted in time. You may have, at most, half an hour. So you've got to try and gear your activities to fit into those slots. So you need to do a little bit of preparatory work. This is normally a dam located up in the top of, or somewhere up the mountain. The water comes down, goes through the turbine. Lewis, do you want to uh, have change you turned, the... Have you turned it on as well? Yeah, so that it helps. <laughs> See, I need Lewis to keep me right. Things will happen. Uh, and you've got to be prepared to perhaps laugh it off <laughs> and adapt. Occasionally, kit doesn't always work how it's meant to work, but you know, you just explain that to the pupils and they don't mind little hiccups like that. That's part of the learning process, actually. This is a solar panel. Mm -hmm. We need a source of uh, energy. You're in charge of the lamp, which is going to be the sun. We're going to see if we can make this panel work. You need to turn it on. There you go. And you need to focus it on there. And you see what's happening. What we're doing here is simulating sunlight. Can you turn it up, down a bit, Holly? Is that possible? If you can carry that off uh, with a bit of humour, perhaps, it all helps kids understand that, well, hey, it wasn't too bad, that. It's real world. <laughs> what are your views on, on green energy? Is it a good thing or a bad thing? Or? Good. There are still some things that do need to be worked on with green energy. That's correct, Lewis, yes. Uh, some things are not as efficient as they might be. It was good to have uh, Bill there introducing it, a qualified engineer. Uh, he's very friendly with the pupils as well and um, they, they, they like him explaining things, introducing a topic and then they look forward to getting to do a bit of practical as well. So yeah, that's a very typical uh, STEM club, science club uh, afternoon. The nicest thing for me was that uh, when Lewis told me that I hadn't switched it on, um, but it's quite good, the kids, you know, they pick up on things quickly and uh, they're not shy about coming forward to say, hey, you've done this wrong. Uh, they have the, the confidence to be able to, to say that sort of thing and have that interaction with me. Before we go back to your classes, Mr Ellis will just uh, finish off for you. Okay. Can anybody remind me what different turbines we've looked at today? Water right. turbines. Water. Solar panels. Solar panels. Windmills. And windmills, yes. For me, I get a great deal of satisfaction. I've got a lot of knowledge and experience, and I really enjoy working with the kids. Bye. 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 Bye.